Hello everyone. In this part, we will cover multiple choice question based on the topic strings in C programming. What is mean by actually the string? String means group of character means the string ended with the null character. So let's start with the first question. Question number one. Strings are defined as dash array. Character, integer, float, void. As I told, definition of string, string means set of character array. Okay. So correct answer is A, character array. Question number two. String is terminated with a special character slash zero. See, this is a single character. Slash and zero. This is single character or null character. The name of this character is null character character. True or false? Yes. It is correct. Because every string ends with a slash zero. Means a null character. A string also known as string constant or constant string. So options are character, variable, literal, sequence and Correct answer is C. A string literal is also known as string constant or constant string. Every string enclosed in double quotes terminated by null character. This null character is which of the following is null character? Yes, in previous question only we covered the answer. Uh, that is answer is C. Slash zero is a Null character. When you are taking the any character or any name at that time, see, when you are taking the uh, any name as a stood or anything, okay, so S is stored at the one location, T at the second, and U at the third, and D at the last. And every string is enclosed. This is the string is ended with the this character slash zero, okay. So, how to declare this string? Just write the stored in double quote. No need to write this slash zero every time because by default this slash zero is attached to this string. Next question is In strings, can is and get is are different. True or false? Can it means what? When we are reading the data from the keyboard, we are using the scanning. Similarly, get is there to read a data. But in a string, it is a different because can it can't read the multi word string. Means when you are entering the name, means suppose student name is Pooja and surname is Raj, then it will accept only Pooja. But get a string can access Pooja Raj. Because get is string accepting multi word string. Next question. The dash function writes the string out to standard output and automatically appends a new line character at the end. Which function we are using? Print or display or printf or footf. Which function we are using for output? We know that we are using the print printf function. Okay, but when you want to write the uh, set of characters, set of string, then you, at that time we need to use the put it. So put it function write the string out to standard output and automatically append a new line character at the end. It will add the new line character at the end. This str alien function calculate the length of a given string. The str alien function takes a dash argument. How many arguments you need to pass for the function str alien? 1, 2, 3 or none of this. And correct answer is A, 1. When you are calculating the length of the string, it is necessary to, you need to pass the one string. Okay. Which of the following function is used to compare string. Comparison based on the ASCII character. See, 
and when both the strings are same at that time answer will be zero if first string is greater than the second string output will be positive if second string is greater than the first string then your output will be negative okay and here we are considering the ascii values for the comparison which function we will use get is str alien str cmp or str red and the correct answer for this question is c str cmp function when comparing string using str alien it returns the value is zero then if the returning value is zero then both strings are equal first string is a greater second string is greater or none of them and as as i explained in previous question correct answer is a both strings are equal how to compare see when you are taking the apple okay first string is uh, suppose the apple and second is also the apple then ask the value subtraction of small a Minus small a equals to zero means ask the value of a ninety seven. Ask the value of small a ninety seven. Ninety seven minus ninety seven zero. So in that way we will uh, go till the end of the word string. Okay. So when the answer is zero, both the strings are equal. Which of the following function is used to compare two strings without any discrimination between upper case and lower case letter? Okay. Which function we are using? Str CMP, Str I CMP, Str N CMP, Str D CMP. Which function we are using without discrimination between the upper case and lower case? Yes, we are using the function Str I CMP. Next question: Which of the following function copies portion of contents of one string into another string? See, question is. Which of the following function copies portion of contents of one string into another string? Str cpy function, Str cat function, Str n cpy function. None of the above. Okay. So here we need this uh, the function which copies the portion of content of one string into another. And correct answer is C. Str n cpy. See, str cpy function is used for copy one string into other. So to destination, str cat means it will append the second string at the end of first string. Str n cpy n means you need suppose if you want only the portion of one string into another string, you can set the limit and and you can copy it. Question number twelve. The str cat function concatenates two given strings. True or false? Yes, the str cat function concatenates two given strings. So, correct answer is A. True. Which function convert a given string into upper case? And options are A. Str upper, B. Str upper, C. Str Str to upper. Then D, all of the above, and correct answer is B. Str upper function convert a given string into upper case letter. Which function used to set all the characters in a string to given character? Means suppose if you want to uh, encrypt the data, means if you want to change the uh, your name. And you want to replace it with the other character, then you can do this. So here, uh, here you can use the function. Uh, these are the options: set char, str to set, str set, set create. And correct answer is C. Str set. In str set, you can provide the original string and the character. Okay, so you can provide the dollar or star. Asterisk sign or the hash symbol, and you can uh, change the given character to the uh, your uh, requirement character or your destination character. Str char function locates the first occurrence of character C in string S. Okay, 
first occurrence of character C in a string S and strchr returns pointer to the last occurrence of the character in a given string. True or false. See here is here we are using the two function strchr and strrchr. Read the all the questions carefully because in your exam maybe there will be two questions based on this sentence. So correct answer is A. STRCHR gives you a first occurrence and STRRCHR gives you a last occurrence of the character in a given string. Which function is used to parse the given string using delimiter? Which function we are using? STRCHR, STRRCHR, STR TOC, STR RSTR. Which function we will use? Correct answer is C. STR TOC. This is string tokenization function. Okay, tokenization function or tokenizer means when you want to divide the string based on the some delimiter, means there's any character, blank space or comma, at that time you can use the function STR TOK. STR TOC function. This function is used to parse the given string using delimiter. Next question is which of the following function used to return a pointer to the first occurrence of string 2 in a string 1? See, which function we are using to return a pointer to the first occurrence of string 2? Means we need to find the first occurrence of string 2 in a string 1. Means if, uh, suppose application is your first string and second string is app. If you want to search where is the app present in the application, at that time you can use this type of function. Options are A, STR, CPY, B, STR, R, C, H, R, C, STR, C, H, R, and D, STR, STR. So, correct answer is D, STR, STR function is used to check the whether is a substring is a present in a parent string or not. Next question number 18. Which function is used to add or concatenate store string at the end of destination string? So, these are the options strcpy, strncpy, strcat and none of the above. So, for this we are using the function strcat. It concatenates. Okay. If there is a two string, string 1 and string 2. When you are using the function strcat in bracket string 1 comma string 2, when you are writing the 1 comma 2, then it will append, it will add or it will concatenate 2 at the end of the first string. When you are writing the string 2 comma 1, it will append string 1 at the end of string 2. So based on your argument, it will work. Correct answer is C. STR cat. Question number 19. Which header file is required when we are using string predefined function in program? When you are using the built-in string functions in your program, which header file is important? Yes. Here is the option is stdio.h. stdio means this is for standard input output. C type. When you are using the functions. Uh, like a two upper or two lower at the time you need to do the C type. Then string dot h when you are using the string related function like str, rev, str, len, str, cmp, str, char. At that time you need to do this header file. And std lib dot h means when you are using the predefined functions related to library like exit or flush you need to write the std lib dot h. So, correct answer is C, C string dot H. You need to declare this header twice. String variables are typically stored as arrays of character terminated by null byte. Yes, it's true or false? It's a true. Because every string is ended with the null character slash zero. And these are the 
a basic 20 question based on the chapter string. In the next video, I will cover all the output based question means trace the output of given program or I will give you a small program and depending on this, this will make you give the answer. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have any query, you can type in a comment box. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much. Best of luck for your exams.